পশ্চিমবঙ্গের প্রাথমিক বিদ্যালয়ের পঞ্চম শ্রেণীর ইংরেজি বই লেসন ফোর মেমোরি ইন মার্বেল লেটস বেকেন লুক অ্যাট দ্য পিকচার What do you see in the picture? Taj Mahal. What is the color of the building? White. Let's read. Torun studies in class 5. His teacher has given a task to the students of his class. He has told them to write a paragraph on the Taj Mahal. But Torun does not know much about the Taj Mahal. He only knows that it is a beautiful monument situated in Agra. Or it, he came back home in the evening and asked his grandfather. Grandfather, can you tell me something about Taj Mahal? Torun's grandfather was a retired teacher. He knew a lot about this beautiful monument. He smiled and said, Okay, if you promise to be a good boy, I will tell you many things about the Taj. Torun promised not to be naughty. So his grandfather began to tell him the story of Taj Mahal. Once upon a time there lived a prince named Khurram. He was the son of Jahangir and the grandson of Akbar the Great. One day Khurram went to the Mina Bazar with his friends. There he caught a glimpse of an extremely beautiful girl who was selling silk and glass beads. The girl was Anjumand Banu Begum. She was born in a family of a Persian nobility. After meeting her, Khurram went back to his father and said that he wanted to marry her. Khurram married Anjumand Banu Begum in 1612, five years after their first meeting. At this point, Torun stopped his grandfather. But grandfather, I don't want to hear the story of Prince Khurram. I want to know about the Taj Mahal. Be patient, Torun. Let me finish the whole story, said his grandfather. All right, said Torun. His grandfather continued with the story. Prince Khurram was later known as Shah Jahan. He became the emperor in the year 1628. Anjumand Banu Begum was later renamed as Mumtaj Mahal. But what does the name Mumtaj Mahal mean? asked Tarun. It means the brightest crown of the world, answered his grandfather. Then he continued with his tale. When Mumtaj was on her deathbed, Shah Jahan promised her that he would not marry again. <laughs> he also promised her that he would build the most beautiful mausoleum over her grave. What is a mausoleum, grandfather? asked Tarun in surprise. Oh, a mausoleum is a building built to house the dead, said grandfather. According to lessons, Shah Jahan was so sad after her death that he ordered the court to mourn for two years. Later, Shah Jahan started to build the world's most beautiful monument beside the river Yamuna in memory of his beloved wife. It took 22 years and 22,000 workers to build the monument. The Taj Mahal was built entirely out of white marble. This white marble was brought in from all over Asia. When Shah Jahan died in 1666, his body was placed 
next to the grave of Mumtaj Mahal. This magnificent monument came to be known as the Taj Mahal. It is now considered to be one among the seven wonders of the world. Grandfather paused for a moment. Well, I have told you quite a lot today. Will this be helpful enough? Oh, yes. Now I can easily write a paragraph on the Taj Mahal, said Torun happily. <laughs> Word truth. Claims. A quick look. Beads, small pieces of glass or stone that are joined in a string to make a necklace. Emperor, the ruler of an empire. Court, the place from where a king governs and passes judgment. Mourn, show sadness. Beloved, a person who is dearly loved. Grave, whole usually rectangular, drug to bury a dead body. Magnificent, wonderful. Let's work together. The Taj Mahal is a famous monument. There are many such beautiful monuments in India. For example, the Red Fort in Delhi, the Victoria Memorial in Kolkata, the Charminar in Hyderabad, and many more. Draw as many pictures of such buildings as you can on a chart paper and make a poster. Use color pencils to color your poster. Your teacher will help you. Ha <laughs> ha.